Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a January Ask Pink Sparkles. You guys sent me the most questions ever on Twitter this time. I think I have like 40 some to do so I'm going to do them very very quick and snappy snap so I can do a lot because I love answering your guys' questions. The first thing I wanted to say is my jacket and this is from SheInside.com. You guys know how much I love SheInside and this jacket is so warm and I'm going out for the day so I'm going to be wearing it but the fur, well it's not real fur but it's like, I don't know, yetiness. And it's adorable. So if you are interested in this jacket, it has like adorable little cuffs on it and it looks like this and it's a longer jacket. The link and the exact link for this will be down below. They're not paying me. Let's go. Number one, what makes you different from other YouTubers? Probably, well, a lot of YouTubers are themselves but I always try to be myself as much as possible. What makes me different? Um, I have like a little kid style and I don't know, I have a hairless cat. <laughs> I don't know because I want to say so many things like like I'm loyal to my subscribers but so many YouTubers are like that so I guess just like my personality makes me different. What was your first word? I have no idea. Let's find out. We're closed. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect that, did you? No. Can't please hold on Subscribers want to know what my first word was. I don't know, puppy. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the last <laughs> That's not a word. How would I know what your first word was, Samantha? Because I was your child? Charming. Well, all throughout the years, I like changed my Prince Charming a lot, but really, when I was like a teenager, I guess, my Prince Charming was some guy who had like long emo black hair, preferably a colorful streak in it, wore black liner, black nail polish ties, like punk shirts, like that's what I always would go for. Mohawks, piercings, tattoos, like that's what I loved when I was younger and that's who, like literally if a guy walked by me, I'm like, oh mom, look, there's my Prince Charming. <laughs> Emo love. Would you rather travel the world for free or win a million dollars? That is a hard one because I would love to travel the whole world for free. Um, and a million dollars would be nice for like to pay off like a house and have a house and be able to travel the world. Do you know what I mean? I think I would do the million dollars because then I could like buy my dream house outright and not owe anything. So whenever I have income from like my job or whatever, I can have that to plan trips and travel the world. So I can still own my house and travel the world. That's me being smart about the money situation. <laughs> so I can have both. If you could ride a flamingo for a day, how many blue monkeys are there? Zero, because monkeys scare me. Can we blue? Oh, ah, ah. let's just say they're candies. I would have a bag full of them, maybe 15, and I would eat them on my flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> what year did you start your channel? 2009. Would you ever go to VidCon? I had to put this one in here because that is kind of like an announcement that my boyfriend and I have and we just bought tickets to go to VidCon 2015, July 23rd to 25th I believe and it's in Anaheim and we are officially going. We have our tickets and they're completely booked and everything like that. So yes, I am going to be going to VidCon with my boyfriend and we will be there. You can come meet us, take pictures, do whatever. So I'm very, very excited. What are your top five favorite teas? P.S. I love you. Tea is like my life. I drink tea every day. I would have to say my top is Earl Grey. Earl Grey is like my love. I love Earl Grey. Second would be green tea. Third, English breakfast tea. Fourth would be a gingerbread tea that I got from like Celestial brand. So good, I drink it all year round. I like buy like three boxes and save it. And then my fifth favorite tea would probably be the birthday cake. I think that's what it's called 
from um, David's Tea. Do they have the candy bar Snickers in Canada? Yes. What are your channel goals for 2015? Um, honestly, I want to have more ideas rather than 2014. I have so many more ideas. I am planning my videos way better. Um, and my basically goal is half a million subscribers, 500,000. And I am working so hard to that. So that I guess that is like my channel goal. What's your favorite types of videos to film? Pink Speaks, Taste Test Studio, Tuesday, etc. Tag videos, I love just like sitting down in like a natural state and answering questions. So kind of like Ask Pink Sparkles or tag videos, I love it. I love the unique questions and just answering it. Would you rather not bathe for a year or not take a shower for a year? This is so hard because I love my baths. I love like, I think I have a bath like every day, like six to seven times a week I have a bubble bath and I'll just like lay there and relax. But I don't like to wash my hair in the bath because I feel like it's just like your bath water is all from like your body. So I feel like if I wash my hair in there, it's, it's not that clean. I don't know, it probably is, but I just don't feel like it is. So I love having a shower. Plus like I need to tone my hair and I don't like go like this and wash my hair in the bath, like no. So to answer the question, um, Maybe not bath for a year because then they can still get head to toe clean, but I'd be sad. Can you show us before and after pictures of your implants? Love ya, please let this be in the video. Um, I don't know if I can. I do have a few pictures of them in like bikinis before, but I don't know if I own that same bikini. I don't know, I don't know yet. Maybe I'll do, do like a video on it before and after cause like I'll compile something and try to show you guys the before and after without like showing like the actual boob. So just let me get back to you guys on that. I love you so much, like truly love you. I love you too, Chrissy Boo. You've helped me from committing suicide. Do you love me? Yes, I do love you and that is an amazing thing to overcome. You are a gorgeous, courageous woman, girl, beautiness. <laughs> and your life is 1000% worth living and there's so much to experience in life. You are just amazing and have a great virtue in you to like step up from that. I was in a similar situation to that and I can feel sort of what you were going through and it's amazing that you have like risen above that and I do love you. Would you rather have a skunk as a pet or give away all of your hats? Love you. So easy. I would rather have a skunk as a pet because I actually want a skunk as a pet. You can get them um, desensitized or whatever it is. I don't know yet though because I'll have to look into that because I don't know if like descending them is a cruel thing to do or if they have problems because of that. I just saw it on like a pet show or whatever that you can have them as pets and they are tame and amazing. So I would much rather have a skunk as a pet. If you were to get Dalton's face tattooed on you, where would it be on your body? Um, I'd probably have it on this side, like down here because that's close to my heart and he is close to my heart. Oh! What's your favorite thing about being on YouTube? The large amount of views that I get from all over the world and the sweet comments and just the support. If you can meet three celebs, who would you pick? Dalton and I were discussing this when I was compiling the questions. It's so hard for me, but I think I've narrowed it down. And the three celebrities I would meet would be Justin Bieber. Second would be Steve Wilkos. Like he is such an inspiration to me and I would love to meet him and just tell him how like inspiring he is and how he's like basically changed my life and how I watch him and get, you know, just happiness from watching him and how he helps people. And third, it's, it's hard because there's so many celebrities I would love to meet, but I would choose Nicki Minaj. I'm actually wearing a Nicki Minaj shirt underneath here. Look at Nicki! <laughs> Are you going to wait to set up your Hello Kitty collection until you move into your new house? Love you. Absolutely, because this house is just too small to set up my large Hello Kitty collection. And the house that um, I am planning to buy and build is going to have like a Hello Kitty, you know, kind of like set up already. Not like a Hello Kitty setup, but like it's going to be like a room kind of for Hello Kitty. You guys will see it all. Not anytime soon. Not anytime soon. But yes, I am definitely waiting. Try to name all the Canadian provinces and territories in 20 seconds. Go. BC, Manitoba, um, Alberta. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to go down. Ontario. Uh, PEI, none of it. Ah, uh, the Yukon. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm pretty sure Saskatchewan. I probably could have named them all if I was to like 
sit down and do it but to do it on the spot like that if you guys watched our um seven second challenge or the um the challenge where you say things on the spot it's hard to like say things on the spot like i know all of the provinces and territories but like saying things on the spot like that it makes your brain think really quick but i think i did it pretty good in 20 seconds do you like alligators I do. Rawr. How did you meet Stacy, and how long did it take you to know that you guys liked each other? We actually discussed this on our best friend tag that we did, which I will leave down below. But basically, we met at a um, winter formal, and it's like a big dance. And Soldier Boy, Crank That, came on. And literally, I knew the dance right away. I was like, oh, and I knew the whole dance. And nobody else of my friends did. And nobody else in like the whole thing did, or maybe they did, but they just didn't want to be idiots. But literally like the floor like opened up and it was me doing the soldier boy dance. And then this other girl that knew it as well, one other girl and like, everyone was kind of just like watching us do the soldier boy dance. And we looked at each other, we're like, oh, we just started like dancing with each other and doing it together. And then we hung out for that whole night. And that was Stacy. And we just knew that we liked each other from that moment because we both do not care what other people think of us and we're gonna do the soldier boy dance in front of everyone because bah, crank that. <laughs> Would you rather lick your university's floors or not taste anything for a year? Hands down, lick the floors because I love to taste, I love to eat. Like, give me that, give me that sugar. <laughs> so I would lick the university floor, but like in the corner-ish where I know like it's not that footy. What would you name a parrot? I love you in all your videos. Probably bye. Like honestly, I would name him bye because I do not like birds. I'm sorry for those who like birds. I will appreciate them from afar, but I really like if parrots. Are parrots the one that like talk to you? No. Oh, that scares me. Like, why is it talking to me? Like, how is it talking to me? Does it like know what it's actually like saying to me? Scary. So I would name it bye. Can I be in your video? Oh, and I love you. I love you too, and here you are. <laughs> Would you rather be a shark or a flea? A shark, because a flea, it's like so little and you're like doing the same thing. Like, you're, well, I guess sharks are too, but you're so little and people are just like, oh, and you're dead or my cat will just eat you. And it's like gross, like you're a flea, bye. Like you're also the parrot's name. So I would rather be a shark because you're like this big creature that's scary and then people just don't want to mess with you. Be the boss and be so fat, but not sink. Wow, I've asked a lot of questions about Callie, but do you ever plan on having a Callie meet and greet next time? Absolutely. When we go to VidCon, that's gonna be like a major meet and greet, but also we may plan something for people who cannot attend, attend VidCon, sorry, for like a special meet and greet. When is your birthday? May 17th. What's your number one most listened to song? Crooked Smile by J. Cole, um, or maybe Nobody's Home by Avril Lavigne, because that song I listened to like my whole teenage life, because that song, oh, I don't know, it just hit home to me, like it was amazing to me, and it kind of replayed my life at that moment, and I love to just like literally go outside and just put on my headphones and sing it. Like I, I don't care, like I just sang it. I went to the park when it was dark and no one was there. Well, don't, don't do that because people can like take you away. <laughs> but I would go there and like swing on the swings and literally listen to it and just like belt it out because I loved it. So it's probably Nobody's Home by Avril Lavigne. This girl again, do you like Britney Spears? I absolutely love Britney Spears. Do you plan on going back to your dark eyebrows and, uh, uh, again? Do you like them lighter? No, I do not plan on it. I love them lighter. It makes my face like not so like, you know, my face and then eyebrows are like right there so dark. I still have the same eyebrows I now have. What? I don't even know. But they're just lightened and I love them like a hundred times better. I will not go back to dark until they like fade to dark and then I bleach them again. How do you come up with new video ideas? Twitter. Twitter, I will go on, see your guys' mentions and what you guys are recommending or requesting for me to do. Um, also, if I'm just like walking in the mall and I like have an idea, I'll like jot it down in a notepad. Um, ideas that I have, like I'll just like literally just rot, write them out and jot them out and that's how I come up with new video ideas. What do you do when your mind tells you lies about yourself? I'm not quite sure what you mean by this. I don't know what kind of lies your, your mind is telling you about yourself. Definitely if you are having bad thoughts, especially about yourself, maybe you can go talk to somebody, whether that is a professional, maybe your mom, somebody close to your best friend, or start journaling, get all those emotions out. You don't even have to journal, like just grab a piece of paper and write down all the lies that your mind is telling yourself and then maybe counteract them with how they are not lies and how like you are not wanting them to be a lie. Like if, you, if you're thinking maybe like I'm ugly, maybe that's what you're thinking. 
even though you're not ugly, you're gorgeous. I'm just saying like, maybe that's what it is. So you write down like, I am ugly and like cross it out and say, no, I am pretty. And like, tell yourself that you are pretty because you are, you are gorgeous, Lauren. Would you ever attempt to actually play hockey? I love you so much, Barbie. Um, I was in like a ball hockey thing. Like it wasn't like a tournament or a league or anything like that. A bunch of us would just play it at recess basically. So I have played hockey, but not ice hockey ever. And yes, I would love to attempt to play it. I have been on like a hockey sized rink and like an official like hockey rink and it was huge and I probably would not do good at all, but I would definitely try. How do you cope with the hate that you get? Does it ever get to be too much? No, it doesn't. Um, the hate that I get, what I see on there is like people really just lying about me and if somebody's like saying something that's a lie about me I would never take it to heart because I know that they're lying and how can I take that at all so I just like don't even deal with it I don't care and if somebody's getting to be like too much then I'll just block them if you could ask one question to someone dead or alive who would it be and what would you ask I would probably ask it to my grandma who passed away before I even met her slash before my mom even really fully knew her my mom's mom and I don't even know what I would ask her maybe I would ask her whew, what was it like having so many children and having that responsibility and how did you you know deal with that maybe something along those lines like how was that experience for you what kind of shampoo do you get and conditioner joyco reconstruct the shampoo and conditioner and i will use the purple shampoo the ag silver shampoo to tone it what is your favorite word probably the f word is my favorite word like i use it all the time and i love using it but my other favorite word is probably cute because everything is cute your eyebrows are cute my curtains are cute my floor is cute pink sparkles probably what food are you craving right now? Right now, like noodles, um, like the big fat udon. Sorry guys, my camera died, so I had to position it to, so it can plug in and charge. I think I was saying udon noodles, those are my fave. Have you ever fell downstairs at school? No, but I have fallen up the stairs at school. My first day of high school, I fell all the way up the stairs because I tripped and I was tripping up and up and up, so that was embarrassing all on its own. Do you think snot should be purple? No, because I feel like if it was purple, then that means you have a lot of like blood or something like collecting and it's like so deep that it looks purpley. So no, I do not think it's purple, but maybe Barney's is. You have the chance to be an embalmer with no issues or YouTuber with no hate. Definitely the embalmer with no issues because the YouTube with no hate is like peanut butter without jelly. <laughs> YouTube just comes with hate and it's just who they are. If you want to be a hater, then more power to you. You should do what you want. I would never do that. I would never have that as a, you know, I would never want that for myself as my person. Like I would never want to have anyone go onto anyone's video and see my comment hating on somebody else. Cause I don't want that look for me. No, I don't, I don't want to be hating on another person. So if they choose to do that, they're kind of digging their own grave in there. So do what you want, do what you will. Embalming is like my passion. It's what I love to do. So definitely the embalming. If you could make a new species using three animals, what animals would you use and made into what? Wow, I would choose a skunk because we're on the topic of skunks. A donkey because I love donkeys and then okay wait 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 let's eliminate donkey and put cow because then I could have milk from it so a cow a skunk and let's give it wings let's do like a vulture skunk coucher skunk coucher that's what I would make and I want to own that animal please because I it can fly it can take me places I can get milk from it and it's cute and fuzzy like a skunk and if people come up to it it'll just spray them and be like bye can you please say hi Jay hi Jay what non-perfume scent candles being blown out gasoline play-doh etc is your favorite <gasps> 1000% the cookie butter that I had by Biscoff. That is my all time favorite scent. It like literally just like engulfs my body into goodness. And that was everything that I mentioned in your guys' questions. You had a lot of questions. Thank you so much for all of them. Just wait until the end of next month when I post out the tweet on Twitter about asking you guys for the next set of questions for Ask Pink Sparkles. And you guys can all 
comment on there to that and I will collect the questions next time. Thank you again all for your questions and I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys! I am wearing it today and I'm wearing zero false lashes and my eyelashes are just like bang. Like they are so vibrant and this is to thank for that. And this one is the